And we should remember what we should remember what is our what is our goal as a company? Our goal is to make amazing products that people love, um, and then to take care of those products and service. So we should say, what, what are we doing to make our products uh, better, to make them more affordable? No more losing signal in the middle of nowhere. No more SIM cards, no roaming fees. No switching carriers just to make a simple call overseas. That exhausting era of global connectivity chaos? Tesla is ending it. Elon Musk just introduced the Tesla Pi phone with built-in Starlink, and it could change everything. Is it really? How does a phone with no SIM card and no carrier still manage to give you internet, calls, and messaging anywhere on Earth? Let's find out. Before we dive in, don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on notifications to help us build Ocean Tech, a community powered by clean, verified, no-nonsense tech news. Be one of the first 1,000 founding subscribers. How this one phone lets you travel the world without ever worrying about roaming. Um. Tesla is very different from every other company. Uh, it has a very strong moat. <laughs> to me, it's real. Pace of innovation, um, technical capability. First, let's talk about something we've all dealt with, roaming. If you've ever taken your phone overseas or even just driven through a rural part of the US, you've probably seen the dreaded no service or worse. Come home to a sky-high bill full of roaming charges you didn't even know you racked up. Now, for those of you who might not know how this all works under the hood, here's the deal. Traditional phones connect to local cell towers, like Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile. And when you leave your normal coverage area, your phone starts borrowing signal from another network, and that's what we call roaming. The problem, it's expensive, and most of the time you don't even realize how much until you get the bill. It's especially brutal when you're traveling abroad. Now some of you might be thinking, well, I'll just buy a local SIM card. And yes, you can do that, but let's be honest. For most people, especially those of us who didn't grow up with smartphones, switching SIM cards is confusing. You have to find a store, hope someone speaks English, buy the right size SIM, set it up, and sometimes even deal with unlocking your phone just to make it work. And on top of that, those local SIMs, they're not cheap either. You end up paying $30, $40, sometimes $100 or more just to get a week or two of basic service in a foreign country. Multiply that by a few trips a year, and you're easily wasting thousands of dollars just to stay connected. How much do you think you've spent over the years just to stay connected abroad? Comment Starlink if you want to end it. That's why what Elon Musk is doing with the Tesla Pi phone and Starlink is so exciting. It completely removes roaming from the equation. Now let's break down why the Tesla Pi phone, powered by Starlink, is such a big deal, and how it finally delivers something traditional phones have never been able to. As of 2025, Starlink operates over 7,500 low Earth orbit satellites circling the planet at around 550 kilometers above the surface, far closer than traditional satellites that orbit at 35,000 kilometers. This lower altitude matters because it dramatically reduces latency, or the time it takes for data to travel, instead of the sluggish 600 to 800 milliseconds of old satellite networks, Starlink offers latency of just 25 to 40 milliseconds, fast enough for high quality video calls, streaming, and even gaming. Starlink's satellites also deliver impressive speeds between 50 to 250 megabits per second, depending on your location, outperforming many rural home internet services and certainly outclassing basic mobile data networks in remote areas. That's the promise of the Tesla Pi phone, a direct satellite link built into the device itself, bypassing cell towers and phone carriers entirely. Technically, this is made possible by phased array antennas, which are expected to be integrated into the Pi phone. These antennas can track and connect to fast-moving Starlink satellites without any moving parts, allowing the phone to maintain constant, high-speed communication even when you're driving through the desert, sailing at sea, or hiking in the mountains. No SIM card to swap, no network to join. It's a phone that simply connects anywhere on Earth, as long as you can see the sky. And here's the kicker. Because the Pi phone isn't locked to any carrier like Verizon or T-Mobile, there are no roaming fees, no international plans, and no surprise charges. 
just one flat service no matter where you are. Even better, you don't need to perform any complicated steps to get connected. There's no switching SIM cards, no manually selecting networks, no calling customer service just to unlock your device. It's truly plug and play, designed for simplicity. Especially for older users or those who aren't tech savvy, this could be a breath of fresh air, a phone that just works no matter where life takes you. And when it really matters, during natural disasters or power outages, when ground-based cell towers go down, the Pi phone can still stay online. That means first responders, aid workers, or everyday users caught in emergencies can still send messages, access maps, or call for help when traditional networks fail. It's not just global, it's disaster resilient by design. The Tesla Pi phone eliminates that hassle entirely. And while Apple added limited satellite SOS messaging in recent iPhones, that's only for emergencies. What Tesla is building is a full mobile network powered by the stars, text, call, internet, and apps without boundaries. Why you'll never pay a phone bill again after seeing the Tesla Pi phone? Now, let's talk about cost, because that's always the big question, especially for anyone on a fixed income or trying to avoid getting nickel and dimed by tech. Let's put it in perspective. Verizon, for example, charges $10 per day for international use. So just a two-week trip racks up $140, and that doesn't even include overage charges or high-speed data limits. Local SIM cards? They sound cheaper, until you realize you're still paying $30 to $60 per trip, dealing with activation headaches, and often getting limited service. Multiply that by even two or three trips per year, and you're easily spending $500 to $1,000 annually just to stay connected. Here's where things shift dramatically. Elon Musk has hinted that the Starlink service powering the Tesla Pi phone will be bundled directly into the device. No dish, no monthly bill, no carrier lock-in. You buy the phone and that's it. You get global internet, voice, and messaging. Out of the box. And here's the shocker. Reports suggest the starting price for the Pi phone could be just $219. Yes, $219 for a device that replaces your iPhone, SIM card, mobile plan, international plan, and even emergency satellite device, all in one. That's less than the cost of just one month of Verizon roaming overseas. It's less than an Apple Watch. Heck, it's less than some people's monthly cable bill. How does a phone with no SIM card and no carrier still manage to give you internet calls and messaging anywhere on Earth? But here's the real question for you. Would you ditch your iPhone or Android for a phone that works anywhere, anytime, with no carrier plan at all? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We read everyone. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe and join Ocean Tech, where we cut through the noise and deliver clean, verified tech stories that actually matter. See you in the next one.